Pretty big threat to our country also. But I will never apologize for defending America. I will protect our workers. I will protect our jobs. I will protect our borders. I will protect our families. And I will protect the birthright of our children to live in the richest and most powerful nation on the face of the earth. And we'll have it back there very soon. We're going to have it back there very soon. With four more years of Kamala Harris, North Carolina will be an economic wasteland. That's what's going to happen. The rest of your companies are going to move out. Everybody knows that. The smart people know. She's the only one that doesn't know it. Low IQ. She's a low IQ individual. And we've had that for four years. We don't need another four. No country could take that. Can you imagine what President Xi, you know, I got to know him very well. He's a fierce individual. The press, the fake news, hates when I say that he's a brilliant man. He runs 1.4 billion people with an iron fist. If I say he's a brilliant man, they say, he called him a bro. Okay, he's not a smart man at all. These people are crazy back there, I'm telling you. <laughs> Am I allowed to say he's smart? Is he smart? He's a smart man. He's a fierce man. I got along with him very well. Putin, these are people that are tough people. Kim Jong-un, North Korea, nuclear weapons all over the place. I said, you ever do anything else? Go to a game, do something, you know. He loves producing nuclear weapons. That's what he likes producing. And he's got a lot of them. And he has no respect for our leadership now. And he doesn't respect, he didn't respect Obama. He thought Obama was a real jerk, a real jerk. And I think he's a real jerk because I've watched him campaign over the last couple of over the last couple of days. I watched him campaign. What a uh, divider he is, right? What a divider he is. He divide this country. He couldn't care less. Him and his little group of people. He was he was a, he was terrible. But I've watched what he's done. He's trying to campaign because she's incapable of campaigning. So they send him in to try. He's not going to do it. He also, you know who he helped? He helped Hillary Clinton. How did that work out? He came out for Hillary. So they sent out the same thing. But the fake news, you'd never, they don't talk about that. They said, oh, they're bringing out Barack Hussein Obama. Oh, Barack, remember Rush? Barack Hussein Obama. Rush Limbaugh, we, me we miss him, don't we? Don't we miss him, Peter? They're bringing out Obama. I say, oh, they did that with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Good, I'm glad they're bringing him out. The reason they're bringing him out, because he doesn't even want to do it. I think, he's ex I think he's exhausted. I watched him talking. I think the guy's exhausted. And I, I never say a guy's looking old, but he's looking a little bit older, isn't he? You know, nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong. But he's exhausted. He's exhausted. But you know, the reason they bring him out, oh, and other people, they're bringing out all these other people. You know, nobody goes to their rallies. Nobody goes there. So you know what they do? They bring in so-called stars, stars that I've never even heard of. You know, these are not stars to me. These are not stars to me. But they bring out some people. And what happens is the star comes in, they get a little bit of a crowd. They don't get crowds like this, and they have guitars. I don't, okay? I got nothing up here. And they bring them out, and they get an audience. They perform for a couple of minutes, and then they leave, and then the candidate gets up. There's nobody in the room. They got to do it the other way around, you know? Let her speak first. But they bring him out because they need help, because she cannot talk for more than 15 minutes. And when the teleprompter goes out, remember, 32, 32, 32 days, 32, 30, 32. <laughs> 32, I said, what the hell is going on with her? I was watching. I was watching, you always want to watch your opponent, right? And I was watching her, and she started doing that 32. She was just about gone, and then that sucker snapped back on. They go out. It's a dangerous business. You know, if, you, uh, if you're a teleprompter reader, it, it can be dangerous, because no matter how good these guys are, I have a great guy, but 
About 5 percent of the time, you lose a teleprompter. Sometimes it breaks down, it snaps. We call it a snapback. You know, it's gone, and now you're on your way, and then you go ping, and it's back. <laughs> but no matter how good they are, you lose it 5 percent of the time, and I thought she lost it. And I just wanted to see a little bit longer. I just wanted to see, because she was over. But if you're uh, — if you'd like to go into politics, you got to be able to make a speech without reading a teleprompter. Because if you need a teleprompter like her, you're in trouble.